Now we're going to look at a special case at a point, a uh, fractional distance between two others, and that is the midpoint. The midpoint is special because it is half of the way between both points. It bisects, bisect means cuts in half, the segment, and it, the midpoint is equidistant from both endpoints. This is the midpoint formula from your math chart. x1 plus x2 all over 2 and y1 plus y2 all over 2. And you could probably think, well, the way I usually like to explain it, say you have an 80 on one quiz and 100 on the other. What should be your quiz average? Well, you would say, okay, it should be 90. 90 is kind of like a midpoint. So you can find a midpoint by averaging it. So I'm going to prove the midpoint formula to you using the one we already had. So that's our partial point formula, which we proved earlier using the um, segment addition postulate. Now I'm substituting in. So my partial point is the midpoint. My beginning point is x1. And my ending point is x2. So here I go ahead and distribute the 1 half, that's called the distributive property, onto the parentheses. So I have x1 plus half of x2 minus half of x1. Then I com simplify like terms, combine them, and then I factor out a half. This looks a lot like the midpoint formula. One of the cool things about the midpoint formula is since there is addition going on here, it doesn't matter in what order you go. You can have the end point first or the beginning point first because it's halfway between. So here's an example. Um, I have a midpoint. I'm trying to find the midpoint for PQ with these endpoints. So first of all, you always write down the formula, and I need to identify x1 and x2. Well, x1 is 21, all right, and x2 will be 34. You add them and divide by 2, and you get 27.5. Doing the same thing for the y-coordinate, 33 plus negative 10 all over 2, which is 23 over 2, or 11.5. Our answer is 27.5, whoops, 27.5 comma 11.5. One thing I want to add is if you're trying to find one of the endpoints, you can use the midpoint formula here, and you might be substituting in for the midpoint here and finding whichever the other point is, just like we did in the previous video. So for further reflection, where does the midpoint formula come from? 